Both players bring a wealth of experience to the franchise, having appeared in a combined 346 T20 games. Since the tournament would be played solely in Trinidad and Tobago, familiarity to conditions is a major plus for the leadership think tank. Emrit, who has previous captaincy experience with the Barbados Tridents and the Ghana Amazon Warriors, told Newsroom this week that he's looking forward to the challenge. You know, it's a good opportunity to lead another franchise. Um, I've had the experience with Tridents, I've had the experience with Guy and Amazon Warriors, so it's, it's another good opportunity to lead um, a franchise. I think, um, yes, they have opted for a Trinidad um, player to, a guy from Trinidad to lead the team. Um, you know, coincidentally, the tournament is played in Trinidad, so I know they'll be looking at me, especially and as well as Ramden, Evan Lewis, the senior guys in the team from Trinidad, you know, for their wealth of experience in Trinidad conditions. Um, you know, I hope that, you know, we can go a couple of steps further this year. Last year, we missed out after qualifying for the knockout stages, we missed out. So I'm looking forward to the challenge. I think we have a very good team. We have a balanced team. And, you know, hopefully, as I said, we can go a couple of steps further this year. Emirate, who has appeared in 136 T20 games and has taken 149 wickets, has had CPL success with the Barbados Tridents, while Ramdin, who has scored 2,660 runs from 210 matches at a strike rate of 118, has won the CPL title with the Trinbago Knight Riders. Apart from Emirate, Ramdin and Lewis, the other Caribbean players in the Patriots squad are Fabian Allen, Sheldon Cottrell, Alzari Joseph, Dominic Drakes, John Russ Jagisar, Colin Archibald, Joshua De Silva and Dennis Bulai. The international signings are Chris Lynn, Rossi van der Dossen, Sohil Tanvir, Ish Sodi and Ben Dunk, while the ICC America's player is Sonny Sohal. The CPL 2020 will bowl off on August 18th.